Okay, kicking off this vlog with some Sunday night footage. The kitchen is an absolute disaster right now. Look at all this. Mm-hmm. I've been meal prepping for the week, like for lunches, because I've been doing that now that I'm streaming every day. I need, you know, something I can quickly warm up for lunch. I'm not gonna cook in the middle of a live stream. So I've got a lot going on here. This is my second week doing this and um, <laughs> I got a lot to clean up here, oh my god. <laughs> so we have this pasta dish. Basically got some chicken and mozzarella and some cherry tomatoes. Then there's some dry basil and pesto. It called for some fresh basil, which is what the leaves are supposed to be, but I just did the pesto instead. And so this is just spinach. <laughs> and there's salt and pepper and some olive oil, but that's that. And then I did these little egg cupcakes they weren't fully cooked when the timer went off so i wanted to leave them in for a few more minutes and then i totally forgot about them so they're a little more brown than they should be but honestly i think they're okay considering i left them in probably 15 minutes over time something ridiculous like that so thankfully they seem fine there's some red pepper in there green onion bacon cheese salt and pepper and then of course the eggs i do have some extra stuff i have extra pasta sitting there I have extra rice over here. Uh, yeah, 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 it's like 11 at night here. I'm like, <laughs> and then over here we have my take on the freshy Oaxaca bowl. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's this bowl I like getting from Freshy. And so I thought I would try it myself. So there's carrot, beet, and spinach. I'm doing spinach instead of kale, just because I wanted the spinach for that other recipe. So. Went with spinach, it's all kind of squished in there. And then over here we have rice, salsa, corn, beans, and chicken. This is so much, you could probably get two meals out of one combo set here. <laughs> uh, and then stuff we add day of, like the day we're gonna eat this, which is probably tomorrow since there's fresh veggie stuff. Uh, add on some, not guacamole, avocado. <laughs> these tortilla strips and then they have some kind of yogurt dressing they use at Freshy and I probably could have looked up a recipe but I just decided to see what I could find at the store there was nothing yogurty so you really just need a little bit so yeah yeah that's the big old mess here and those are the things I made the meals I made for the week <laughs> and it's not just for me it's for Christian too so yeah I gotta portion this out into some containers, put those into some baggies or something, or just plastic containers, and tidy up a little bit. Christian did say he would wash the dishes, but I just need to get like the mess put away, you know? <laughs> Deal with all this crap. Oh yeah, I also have goat cheese because I get that added on to my bowls at Freshy. It doesn't come with it, but I get it as an add-on, so we can add that. To the bowls as well. It'll take a little bit of last minute prep throwing things together, but still should be pretty quick. So I've printed off more of these because I'm gonna run out. I don't have enough to fulfill orders for this week. Just like over the weekend, I had 12 come in, so I'm gonna have to cut a few more. Okay, here's the stash. Here's what I'm bringing today. And then I also have three Canadian ones to bring to Canada Post. I went to Chit Chats on Good Friday, knowing full well it was Good Friday. I'm like, oh, it's a holiday. Christian's home. We're well, not home. He's always home from work, but like he's not working. He had the day off. And then I'm like, well, now I'm going to go to Chit Chats. And I didn't realize my mistake until I got there. So I even got there a couple minutes before they would normally open. So I just sat there parked for a few minutes. And then I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> It's a holiday! Oh my god. So we're bringing those packages again today. So update on the fence. This entire section was replaced it looks like. It was fixed yesterday and I didn't see them do it at all. Last night Christian noticed. He's like, oh by the way, the fence is fixed. <laughs> that part looks so clean. Need to hose down the rest of the fence. That part's looking fresh. Oh baby. You guys, I just passed Chit Chats. <laughs> um, it is 11 minutes past 10 o'clock. Chit Chats opens at 11. It's like just past 10 o'clock. What am I doing? 
What is wrong with me? <laughs> oh my god. What? Like, I just have to hang around for like 40, over 45 minutes now. Like, what am I, what am I gonna do here? <laughs> oh, let's pull up to this nice neighborhood. I pulled in here the other day. <laughs> look at this place. Oh my god, look at the trees. Huh? Lordy, hopefully the windshield is not too dirty. I mean, I wiped the inside, but. Oh my god, this street's beautiful. It's like all windy beautiful big trees lord okay what do i do where do i go i mean am i that far from low heat mall maybe i can go there <laughs> oh my god i'm such a loser what am i doing here <gasps> yo i gotta go into that street they don't mind. Well, not a Yui, but you know. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Go back, go back, go back. This street has so many cherry blossoms. Mamma mia, let's go down there. Uh, let's go down here. <gasps> dude, dude. This is such a beautiful neighborhood. Uh. Thick that tree trunk is. Um, okay, now this is a little cul de sac. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull over under this tree and <laughs> figure out where I'm going. <laughs> Why did I come here so early? Guys, Lowheed Mall doesn't open until 11. <laughs> Where do I go? Should I just drive to the Richmond Chit Chats just for fun? Let's just drive to another city. Why not? Why not? You got the time. <laughs> Why? Uh, okay, vlogging on my phone because I didn't bring my vlog camera because I didn't think I would really vlog anything other than maybe using some dash cam footage. So when I last left off, I was going to go to the Richmond Chit Chats and I had started driving when I realized I didn't have enough gas to get there because my gas was much lower than I usually let it get. The original plan was go to Chit Chats today and then on the way back, go to a gas station because it's on that side of the road when I'm going back. The, the gas levels were in the red, so... <laughs> I was starting to panic and I, I was on these highway type roads where there was nowhere to pull over and I just kept going. I ended up by SFU and then came down the hill, got onto Gaglardi, which brought me back to Lowheed. Finally, I could figure out where I was because I couldn't pull over to like check Google Maps and figure out how to get anywhere. So <laughs> finally managed to get back to Lowheed, got to a gas station, got gas. I had a 16th of a tank left by the time I got to the gas station. <laughs> And now I'm pulled over in a neighborhood near Chit Chats, this little residential neighborhood. There's a, an empty plot near me or something. Beyond those shrubs is just dirt. Here's a view in front. And now I'm just gonna sit here for 15 minutes until Chit Chats opens. <laughs> and home sweet home, I am back, finally. Hooey, what an adventure. At least it's an adventure by today's standards. <laughs> anyway, today I wanna work on the puzzle. It is a store prep day technically, but I don't have a lot of store prep to do. So what I wanna do later is design a couple washi tapes. It should be pretty quick because I'm just gonna be reusing the assets from the sketchbook covers. So it, it shouldn't take me too long, like maybe an hour tops. So before that, I'm just gonna work away on the puzzle. I did do a little bit of it on Sunday because I was eating lunch here beside the puzzle and then Christian's parents called. And so while we were chatting to them, I was working on the puzzle. So got a little bit more done. Building up around the elbows of the skeleton. Got a little bit of flowers here and like these blue flowers down here. These corners are tough though because they're all kind of solid color pieces. So that'll be a struggle. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Anyway, I'm gonna move this into my art room because this is gonna be today's stream activity. So I need to get to the cameras. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna want this sideways. Hmm, well, I could do kind of like I did before, where I essentially cut the puzzle in half, therefore I have it the correct orientation, because it's easier to see what you're doing when it's that way. I decided I did want the whole puzzle visible at once on camera, so what I've done is I moved away this cart. I shoved it over there, and that way I can like sit here and have the side view, or I can roll over here and have this view. I can stand, I can sit, I can whatever, but I can easily maneuver to both sides to work on it in whichever direction I want. I did a bit of sorting. So wait, where's the box? There it is. That's the unsorted stuff. I just leftovers down there. I put a bunch of these turquoise ones here. Yellowy ones, the skull's still over there. Some of them I just threw kind of where they go. And I found the bee. I found the little bumble me. Wait, there we go. <laughs> oh, and this flower tip too. Boop. Oh yeah. Still looking for this one. There's like these little holes I'm trying to fill. Mm. Corners are coming along very nicely. Finally getting through all these solid pieces. And yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We're getting into the good stuff now. Here's what my freshie bowls look like all mixed up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a big chunk of avocado there. Mix that in. Okay, here's where I'm leaving it. That was pretty good progress. It was so hard to tear myself away. I worked on it longer than I thought I was going to, but there were just certain pieces that kept bugging me, and then I'd find other pieces and there'd be new ones that bug me. There's still a bunch that bug me that are on here, like that are still empty, but yeah, that was pretty good progress. So after working on the puzzle, I did not do my washi tapes. I just wanted to go downstairs and chill with Christian. So, plus I did an hour extra to my stream. I was supposed to stop at six. I didn't stop till seven and I was like, well now it's already seven, I'm just going downstairs. So that'll have to be done some other time this week. I mean, it's not super urgent. Washi tape doesn't take that long to manufacture, but yeah. Today I want to try on my blonde wig. I did try it on when it first arrived, but that was kind of just quickly throwing it on, see what it looked like, and then I took it off. So today I wanna, you know, I want to wear it the whole day, pretty much. It is a game stream day, so I don't know. That's, that's like my favorite time to wear the wigs because I don't want to wear them if I'm out and about doing a lot of stuff just because I have really long ones and I feel like they would just get in my way and they would annoy me and stuff. So <laughs> if I'm just sitting in my chair looking forward all day, it's like the perfect time to wear a wig. Um, okay, I need to move some of this. Oh yeah, this tunic thing. I got like a long yellow shirt. I gotta check that out. But I just want to show you my sleeves. They came in, the bigger sleeves for the prints. They're a little bit wrinkly, which concerns me because I want to feed them through my printer, but maybe I can flatten them out or something. But yeah, the plan is to make some kind of design that goes on here and print the design onto the paper. It could say something like Bailey J Art Prints. Well, I mean, I don't know. It might not even say prints. It might just be some kind of neat design that says Bailey J or just, I don't know, just something to spruce up the look of these because this will replace the glassine sleeves. They're kind of ugly because I don't package the items with the art facing outwards on the glassine sleeves because I put a piece of chipboard in there. And so one side you see the white of the print, the other side you just see like brown chipboard and it doesn't look very nice because I'm just scared if I package art side out, it will get a little dent in it or, you know, more likely to get damaged in some way. But this is opaque, so you would not see anything, and I could, yeah, make it look cute. I don't want to do stamps because, well, I mean, it could work for this if I use the same stamp for everything, but I feel like printing's maybe a little easier. <laughs> and if I wanted different designs, I'd have to get a new stamp for each design, which is just not practical. Because I've had people question that in the comments, especially for the big sketchbook sleeves. That would be a pretty big stamp and I would need, like I want the stamp to specify which sketchbook is in there because I can't see in the sleeves, right? And I'm gonna sleeve the sketchbooks in advance if I can just to save time when I'm actually packaging orders. And so I want 
it to say on it which cover it is and which paper type it is. So there's four variants just for these two sketchbook designs and any new cover design I do in the future is going to need two variants so it just doesn't make sense to do a stamp. I think using my printer will be best. Look at these big boys. They're quite large. I believe they're 9 by 12s. <laughs> oh my god! This is a look. I feel like it's way too long for me still. Like, I can't handle having this much hair. I gotta cut these. If I'm gonna wear them on the regular, they need to be shorter. Well, on the semi-regular. I don't know if I did my brows too dark. I did use a lighter color than I use now, but it's still kind of... This wig, it's great when I'm just like looking straight. When I look down, it's all in my face. Like, I can't... <laughs> if I was doing anything other than sitting in my chair, I'd definitely need to pin back the hair. I also feel like, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but this has a slight greenish tinge to it. Just like ever so slight green, which I feel like doesn't look good with my skin color. It feels comfier than the last wig. I'm also wearing a different wig cap and it wasn't as tight, although it felt like it was starting to slip off before I even got the wig on, but you know. It's so much lighter though than the pink one. The pink one I definitely have to thin out and possibly trim it. This one just is thinner to begin with, but still very long. It's like a little, it's a, it's a little much. This, this is a little much, but I'm just like, eh, whatever. I'll just think of it as a dress up stream, you know? <laughs> but I feel like I'm in a freaking Halloween costume or something right now. This is too much, too much hair. Chat requested I put the crown on, so tiara thing. <laughs> I just stacked it on top of what I had in my hair before since it's pinned into my hair. Hello. <laughs> what a look it's almost like like a slight well not a cosplay i guess but just like a costume maybe on wednesdays i dress up a little like in weird outfits although i don't want to start buying a bunch of stuff just for the sake of the dress ups but just do something different like it's weird like wig wednesdays or like accessories like this that are kind of over the top weird wednesdays <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Ow, you're kind of using your claws a lot there, Missy. This fabric's pretty thin. <laughs> you goof. <laughs> okay, that was a good stream day. I beat Bloodborne. I did all the DLC, all the bosses and everything, and yeah, the, really the only thing I could do is New Game Plus, which is just playing the game again, but you keep all your items and stuff. But I would rather move on to Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3 because I haven't played those yet, so that's what I'll do. And I finished off the stream with some Fall Guys, just since, since I was done Bloodborne, switched to Fall Guys. No crowns, but yeah. Now I need to take all this off. I need to take all this off. <laughs> Doing weird dress-ups every Wednesday or something would be fun, but I also don't want to commit to it. I just occasionally do weird dress-ups like this. Why not? Get some use out of the knickknacks I have. Looks gross, but smells nice. Smells like my shampoo. Okay, it's now Thursday, and I'm going to be working on my bun bun art, and I'm getting to the phase. That is the most exciting in my opinion, which is all the pencil detail. Yes, 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 yes. I barely got started on it. Just a little, did a little bit on this bunny boy, but need to work at the rest. And yeah, finish this off today. Should I be working on my oil painting? Probably. I'm just taking a little break from it. <laughs> I'll get back to it eventually. It'll probably be the priority after the bunny one is done. So I have two erasers that are in pencil form. You know, those click erasers. It's like a long skinny eraser and you click the end to make the eraser come out. I have two of those or had. One was a blue one that had sort of a thicker tip. It was similar to, you know, the eraser you'd find on the tip of a pencil. And then I had one that had a black barrel and had a really skinny tip. And I don't know where it is. Like, I hunted through here and then I found this pencil case and got so excited. I did find a pencil sharpener in the case but those erasers were not part of it because sometimes I take that stuff with me on the go and make like a little travel art kit that I barely touch. <laughs> yeah, I can't find them. I've got all my regular erasers right here. 
more spilling out into there. But yeah, my little pencil erasers, where are they? They're gone, they're gone. They'd be real handy for the pencil work because, you know, this isn't fully erased, but you can lighten stuff with eraser. It'd be handy to have that tool. Wait a minute. Well, except I can't really access this drawer anymore since I put this here. <gasps> Rip Google Wi-Fi. This drawer was supposed to be for special things I don't want to lose, and it ended up being just for a bunch of random stuff, including a bunch of pins that I want to keep for myself. It just ended up in here. Oh, there's a sharpener. Then maybe the eraser's in there. Maybe. Please. <laughs> I really want it. This drawer doesn't open very far, and it goes deeper, which adds to the annoyance. Is this a little chocolate dollar coin wrapper? Oh my god. Uh, wait, wait, wait. <gasps> Dude! <laughs> I did not think I was gonna find this today. Oh my god, that's the one. That's it. That's it. It's the power of the camera. It helps me find lost stuff. I wanna show you guys some artwork I have hanging in the basement bathroom. I got it at the Disney Wonderground Gallery. It's Bambi art, and as I was working on the bunny art, it made me think of this Bambi one. If you look at us, similar vibes, except this is way cuter than mine, obviously. But, <laughs> you know, I'm kind of looking at it like, hmm, how far did they render the fur? How much did they do that? Hmm. Am I taking it too far? This also has little, like, finer lines. I feel like the original for this was probably quite large. But, yeah. Yeah, cute. Isn't that cute? Had to show it to you. <laughs> What's so weird is I feel like there have been all these signs that switching to mostly streaming is the right call. Like, I, I've known this is what I wanted to do. I, I kept trying to justify to myself over the years why I shouldn't do it, you know? Like, oh no, Bailey, you'd be abandoning your viewers or this, that, or whatever. I had all these, like, I kept trying to stop myself from doing this. But what's so weird is right after I started the new schedule, I got recommended this video that was like, why YouTubers stop posting or like why they take like long breaks and either never come back or just come back and post less frequently and I found it so interesting and like it was just a great video I was like whoa this like really validates everything I'm feeling here and then what's interesting is today this morning I was watching the Philip DeFranco show episode from yesterday and there was this bit about like he started off talking about twitch and how like you know how much it's growing how much more people are watching live streams especially on twitch and how everything's just been booming over this past year and i was like oh my god like again this feels like a sign you know more people are watching live streams than ever before and i'm just like oh hi i feel seen <laughs> just all these little signs are popping up and i'm like yes Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, that was a lot of yeses. I'm just very excited. Wait, I thought I was already recording. Oh my god. Whatever, I barely made any progress. This was for the best. <laughs> Instead of me vlogging for like five minutes and realizing I'm not filming, I was just pointing out progress here on the buns. I got most of the fur done. Except mommy, we've, well, the mom we're working on the face. It's face is mostly done, then we just got these bits. But. I thought I would color this eyeball with you guys. Guys. And then I said that recapping it is not fun at all, especially when the vlog's listening or the stream. I said, I, 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 on your little bunny bye or something. And that made me think of a video. <laughs> this goes on for so long, just like a butterfly attacking this innocent puppy. Ah! Making eyes mostly black, but ah! I should have muted alerts. <laughs> black tulip, thank you for the eight months. These bunnies are so cute. Thank you. I don't know how visible it is on the other bunnies, but I'm trying to do black around the edges and then brown in the middle, like a dark brown. Like this. Yes.
so the bunny art is done look at those buns cute cute i love this oh there's a cheeky hair on it look at those babies i was worried at first when i did this bun head the other day that i thought maybe oh am i going too dark is this all gonna be too dark but it actually is perfect i love it it has it's pretty much exactly what i wanted where the fur has the most texture and then everything else is mostly lightly shaded. And I can maybe tone down some of the shading on the lettuce. <laughs> the shadows are kind of dark compared to everything else, but yeah, there it is. There it is, let's do some close-ups. Do, 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 with like some of the greens, like the carrots, for example, I didn't want to add too much pencil because I liked the way the watercolor looked and didn't want to cover it up too much. So I left a lot of that. And same with the dirt over here, I just had pretty nice looking texture with the watercolor so didn't add much a lot of other areas were just solid with the watercolor so I added more pencil but yeah look at it look at it oh my goodness is this Mr. Bun Bun's family I think it might be he left to get milk though and never came back no I'm just kidding and the other theory was that portrait of Mr. Bun Bun is the portrait they have sitting on the fireplace mantle in memory of Mr. Bun Bun who died no, okay, neither of those are true. But this could be his family, it could be. And no, you would not see this bunny's tail. I used a reference photo for the bunny's body. Like the head doesn't match the reference photo, but the body does, except that the arm is extended. But that's what it looks like. Bunnies have pretty small tails, they're pretty low. It would not show at this angle. I could force a bit of it to be seen just as an artistic liberty, I guess. But yeah, I, just, I went off a photo reference of a real bunny. But yes, oh my god, another Bun Bun illustration, and it's similar to the style of Mr. Bun Bun, which makes me happy because I love that artwork so much. So it was nice to do something similar, even though his is more like portrait in a an oval frame of sorts. This is more of a scene, but in terms of how I colored in it and stuff, it's it's very similar, very similar. Yay! Okay, done. So yeah, it's quarter after six, and Christian works until eight. So I'm not gonna head downstairs quite yet. I could, I could, but I kinda wanna work on the puzzle a bit more. It's been so addicting. I have to pull myself away from it every time. It's, <laughs> it's so wild because after the red bubble puzzle, I was like, I'm just not a puzzle person, I guess, cause like this was okay, but it was also a little bit torturous. And now I'm like, give me more. Yes, yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ah, yes! Nope. Finally! I've been looking for that piece. Oh my god, this is really happening tonight. I didn't think I would finish, but I, I have to. I'm so close now. I just have to. And I finally found this piece. <laughs> finally! There's really not much left at all. I've got a few pieces here. And then I've got these ones, and then I'm done! Oh yeah! The last piece of the top section. Dur, dur, dur. Wait, is it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's upside down. <gasps> oh my god! Here we go, last two pieces. Oh. And... Doot. Yay! It's done! Woohoo! I already have this as a print hanging in my art room, but I'm still tempted to frame it and hang it. I might put it somewhere like the spare bedroom or just somewhere downstairs. It could go in the warehouse technically too, but yeah, I, I do feel the need to keep this one intact and display it. And once again, this is by the artist Lisa LaRose. She's doing a Kickstarter. These are the three that you can get. And I pledged for the Toad Queen. I'm trying to get an angle where you don't get too much glare. <laughs> it is now Saturday and I am about to go clean my car. It's been long overdue. It's disgusting, it's nasty. There's crummies all around the cup holder and there's just like dirt and stuff. And yeah, it's it's long overdue plus i have that residual cat litter in there because you guys know i had that leak problem 
and I unclogged the sunroof drain, which I think did help because my seatbelt's not getting wet anymore. It was wet and moldy. It was disgusting. And that seems to be the only way I could get to the seatbelt would be through the sunroof. But I'm not convinced that that's the only leak. It might be coming in through the side door because the water is accumulating in the rear driver's side footwell. And that's just confusing to me. And I did see a video online that sometimes the seal around the speaker in the door can be compromised. And then instead of water draining through the door and out the door to the outside of the car, it comes inside through the speaker. And so I don't know if that's my issue or not. I'd soaked up so much of the water there and like squishing into the rug. And then just to get the last bits, I sprinkled some cat litter down, but the cat litter just kept, kept getting wetter and wetter and wetter until it was almost soaked. And I scooped it out, but there's still like residual bits I need to deal with. I just didn't have time that day that I scooped it out, but it, it got so wet that it was like a paste and it's still wet. I don't have a shop vac, so I don't know how I'm gonna clean that out. <laughs> I can see like a wet rag and do my best, I don't know. And then I can kind of keep an eye on it, see is water still getting in? Cause I don't, like there hasn't been a puddle in the back since I wiped out all the water. So it might be okay. Cause there was a straight up like, puddle in it before, but yeah, it might be fine now. So I gotta go out there. There's my car right there. Go out and clean it. So this is the cat litter situation. Um, yeah. <laughs> Originally when I did this, I thought that by this stage, like once I've scooped it out, it would, like the remnants would be dry and I would just vacuum out the remnants, but they're still pretty wet. So that's disgusting. What have I done here? What have I done? <laughs> Here's the driver footwell. And my cup holder says <laughs> this disgusting. Look at, here's up close. This is what I'm, this is what I'm telling you, this is long overdue. Oh my god, crummies. Oh god, this is disgusting. Get rid of all this dust. I'm gonna wipe this down first, the sunroof, so I can open it up. Oh yeah. Ah! Oh god, there's sun reflecting off of that building over there. No, no. Well, whatever. I got sunglasses, I can wear them. Excuse me? They're bust? What? How are they broken? They were not broken the last time I wore them. I have a backup pair. I think oh, there's a couple. These ones were a wedding party favor. These ones are pushing. Let's go with pushing. I wipe stuff down and it still looks dusty. Are these flakes coming from the paper towel? <laughs> I tried dusting it off with a different rag, like a proper rag, and it's just like, can't get rid of all these flecks. Out back in there. I'm just trying to talk with a toothpick in my mouth. What am I doing? <laughs> and the vacuum's dead already. It's looking a lot better in here. Christian washed the floor mats for me. So they're just sitting over by the house right now. And without the vacuum, there's not a whole lot else I can do because the, the back of the car is still dirty. Needs more vacuuming. I'm currently removing more of the cat litter. You can see a lot of it's gone. I just scooped out what I could with a rag and then I've been taking this little broom and <laughs> trying to sweep up piles of it, but it's still kind of moist back here. So it's not working that well. And trying to sweep carpet is always fun. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in and try to like, soak up some of the moisture now, I think. Oh, and I keep finding more glass. This isn't even all that I found. These are just some of the pieces I found back underneath here as I was sweeping. Those are from the sunroof, from when the sunroof shattered. The sunroof cover was closed, so the glass didn't spill out into the car, but I think when they were fixing it, some did fall in. It's probably gonna be getting dark by the time the vacuum charges, so I might have to finish this tomorrow or another day. But uh, I might run through the, the car wash just because it's been a while since I've had a car wash. So I might do that too. Here we are. <laughs> Getting the luxury car wash. Oh yeah. <laughs> Leak test. 
<laughs> it's kind of like, ooh, pretty colors, and then snot. <laughs> oh, so shiny and clean. Okay, it's now Sunday. This will be the end of the vlog. I just wanted to show my cheesy chicken and broccoli casserole here. Mostly looks like cheese right now. <laughs> there's, some, there's some chicken and broccoli in there. And then over here I have a beef stir fry. So that's what I made for this week's meals. I'm ending the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. I got two things. I got two art pieces to finish now. So <laughs> might have to double down on the art this coming week. <laughs> So if you would like to tune in, that's twitch.tv slash baileyj, that's where I'll be. And if you just like the shorter clips, then feel free to stay here only and uh, check out the vlogs. Under my previous 